But Checo, you had one job, chap. Keep the car out of the wall. And then as a nice to have, maybe we could get into Q3 for once in your life. You failed on both counts, chap. What are we doing here? This makes no sense. What are you, Checo Perez, Flotsam and Jetsam F1? This is bottom of the barrel type stuff. And the way you failed is nonsense again for the avoidance of that. It's not the strongest of the species that survives, but the most adaptable to change, Checo. So what are we doing here? Geometric ace racing line taking too much curb when it is raining and damp. You know what curbs do as far as unsetting, settling the car. This should not be a surprise. Man formerly known as the Mexican Minister of Defence. And I say that without tongue very firmly in cheek. Because your F1 pimp card has to be revoked. Checo Perez. Such as the extent and the length of your underperformance. You are getting roundly outperformed in qualifying. By Logan Sargent. In a Williams for Pete's sake. Four times season to date. What are we doing it makes no sense, Checo Perez, for you are driving yourself a Red Bull. Okay, so they have problems now. Curbing is not fantastic. But does that mean to say that they're not still one of the fastest packages on the grid? Absolutely not. You should be able to out-qualify Logan Sargent for Pete's sake. Two, you should be able to make it out of Q1. We're not even expect you, expecting you to get into Q3 these days, Checo Perez. That's far too ambitious for somebody in your flotsam and jetsam mode of form. But make it out of Q1 and keep it out of the barrier, chap. You could do neither. You failed to get the assignment, chap. You will be gone as at the summer break. You know already that you have a performance clause in your contract because they wouldn't have allowed you to sign the two-year without that. You need to be within 100 points of your teammate, one Maximilian Verstappen, as at the time of writing. The gap between the two of you is 137, 137 points. And there's only been 12 races. What are we doing? Oh, the humanity. This makes no sense. As I try to compute this through my very noddy F1 brain, I don't understand how Maximilian Verstappen is gapping this dude so much in the same bloody car. Now, Checo Perez fans will cite the fact that there is a lack of harmony, harmony at Red Bull. It has been difficult. Christian Horner allegation gate. It is peak rancor, unsettling even, even for the goatiest ones, as good as Maximilian Verstappen is. But yet and still, Checo Perez is a good driver. He's not, or at least hasn't been flotsam and jetsam F1. Therefore, he should be doing better than this. Keep it out of the barriers, chap. That's all that we were asking. But yet and still, that dude fails yet again and sees his defeat from the very jaws of victory. So too, Yuki Tsunoda. Again, all F1 sessions are not created equally, chap. This was important that Yuki Tsunoda, you nailed it. You got out of Q1. Again, tick. Got the assignment. First objective nailed. The second one, chap. Don't put it in the barrier. Sadly for Yuki Tsunoda. Now, it's not case in point. It's not slam dunk as far as him succeeding Checo Perez. Remember for the avoidance of doubt, there are a couple related parties in this holy trinity. This love triangle that is trying to succeed Checo Perez as a Red Bull driver. Being Liam Lawson, Yuki Tsunoda, Danny Rick. As of this qualifying session at the Hungarian Grand Prix, rest assured that one Daniel Ricciardo has the whip hand. He's the pole sitter. He managed to get through to the qualifying sessions that he needed to. Q3 indeed. So too, he managed to keep it out of the barrier. Give Danny Rick the seat. I don't care what people want to talk about his performance hitherto season to date. At the critical times, he dropped it on pole, provisional pole, if that's a thing, getting Q Q1 even, setting a ridiculous, a gargantuan hot lap tick, doing the best things, finding the best of yourself at the critical times. There is Danny Rick. There is the Honey Badger. Give that dude the seat. So too, again, a nice to have in Red Bull circles of late. If your name is Checo Perez and Yuki Tsunoda, he kept it out the barrier. What are we doing?
give that chap the seat and Christian Horner won't hesitate. They will be having those conversations with Checo Perez as at the summer break. And I think he will have to make a decision. Oh, and by the way, George Russell, first of his name, makes yet another mistake at critical times. So too did Mercedes since they failed to fuel him to account for the fact that the track was evolving at the rate at which it was evolving. He needed to do a couple more laps, but that was only because he failed to nail his hot lap the first time round. Mistake FC. Please see King George Russell of Kingsland Norfolk, first of his name. And again, this hasn't been the first time. George Russell is growing. He'll be a god tier one one day, but not yet. Not as at July 20, 2024. Not yet. Not quite. And please see Charles Leclerc since we're talking mistakes. Now, Charles Fossey will tell me, stop victimising him. There is a gender in there. Carlos Sainz Jr. and his PR team are making Charles Leclerc work. No, stop it. Charles Leclerc is making Charles Leclerc worse. I just saw footage of him crashing when he was coming out the pits into the bloody wall. What are we doing, Charles Leclerc? Now, I gave you some credit, chat for doing the mere call, but listen, that was my mistake in free practice, and I need to improve. Prop, Charles Leclerc, how can you not like that guy? He's lovely. Clark Kent settings before he goes in the telephone booth. However, he still keeps making mistakes. If he harbours ambitions to fulfil his not insubstantial potential, then surely he needs to trend those mistakes downwards. Surely. I'm not asking too much as an F1 fan. Again, he could be a future world champion, but he won't be a future world champion if he continues crashing in the pit lane, in the pit lane. That's the reserve of the likes of Valtteri Bottas, not Charles Leclerc, a.k.a. modern day Jean Lazy, surely. What are we doing here? This is absolute nonsense. And then let's talk about Maximilian Verstappen because I, for one, was disappointed to see Max dismount the car before the final hot laps were completed. Now, Red Bull said that they were sure, 90% certain even, that there was no chance of him improving on his lap time. There was rain coming in, of course. But surely, Red Bull, if you harbour aspirations to keep Maximilian Verstappen, you need to provide him with two things, he said. Harmony at the team and a car capable of winning races, if not championships. As at the time of writing, you could argue he has none of those. And then you tell him to dismount. He wants to fight for each and every single session. It will burn Maximilian Verstappen that he finished third in qualifying at the Hungarian Grand Prix behind the two boys who drive the papaya coloured car. He said as much. Things are getting techy for him. He wants to be dominant. He wants to win every single session. And more than anything, he wants to win himself championships. And that means that necessitates even 25 points each and every single race weekend. And polls as a nice to have. Maximilian Verstappen, as at the time of writing, he will be burning inside. Red Bull are doing nothing this race weekend, if not pushing him clear and blue into the grubby clutches of one Toto, the boy who cried wolf. And we might not even have to wait till 2026 to see that come to fruition. Maximilian Verstappen, 2025, a driver for the boys and girls over at Brackley and Brixworth. Stay tuned. Oh, the humanity.